Namaste. Welcome to Class 5, The Seven Bodies of Consciousness. Today we will be discussing the seven bodies that exist within consciousness. And to begin, we must define the terms we will be using. The seven bodies include the traditional five sheaths or maya koshas, which are known to all students of yoga. I'll put that word on the board for you. These comprise the different layers of our being that are also known as organism, ego, and soul. The concept of mayakosha is a combination of two words made up of the idea of illusion, maya, and kosha, which is a sheath. Every appearance is an illusion, but some illusions are more subtle than others. The grossest and most dense kosha is the physical organism that is nourished by food. So it is called the food body. Then, at a more subtle level, we can feel our vital energy. And as we move more inwardly, we observe the thinking mind. Even deeper within is the discerning intellect. And deeper than that, we reach the state of peace we usually only touch into in deep sleep. In sum, the koshas range from the most gross to the most subtle. And we perceive a graduated series of sheaths, like nested dolls, going ever more deeply inward toward the imperceptibility of these most subtle sheaths. Shanyamurti says, the idea of a sheath is also equivalent to a veil. Each veil covers over a more subtle veil until we reach the untouched pure reality of absolute consciousness that the Vedanta philosophers call Brahman. Once Brahman is realized as oneself, then the illusions of Maya are all overcome, and the world and all the layers of consciousness that construct the world and apperceive it are recognized as a single spectrum of consciousness that is a single intelligence expressing its infinite creativity. In other words, Maya, or appearance, is the way that a particular subset of information set apart from the source and infinite wholeness of the total set of information that makes up reality manifests to a given level of itself as a particular phenomenon or series of phenomena. That is all Maya means, the way that a temporary phenomenon is created through the projection of a representation of the ineffable information that constitutes the holographic display that we call the world, along with the production of ideas. We get our thoughts from personal memory as well as the stored database of the collective noetic field, which is often referred to as the Akashic Records. Sometimes we also get higher ideas from the superconscious levels. In other words, the wisdom sheath conveys an insight to the mental sheath. But our perceptions of reality always combine elements from all the levels. The superconscious provides the forms of nature with a capital N, and the mental sheath, also known as the ego, adds into the projection of the world its own subconscious fantasies and conscious expectations and paranoid fears. Thus, at the ego level, we perceive only a distorted interpretation of the information that comprises the reflection of reality. And unless we eliminate the factors that distort our perception by processing the false ideas that make up the ego's particular maya, which produces karma, we can never perceive reality as it truly is. In addition to the koshas, we have two other kinds of body, one that represents our consciousness through time and the other that constitutes the consciousness that underlies all that appears in space-time as a totality. The individual transtemporal body, meaning that level of consciousness that stays with us from one lifetime to another and that survives death and eventually returns to its source, we consider a single thread, a soul trajectory that holds all our lifetimes together as a whole, in the same way that a thread holds all the beads of a necklace together. In Sanskrit, the word for thread is sutra, so the consciousness of 
our individual journey through time is called the Sutratma. Which is also a combination of thread, the word suture comes from sutra, and atma. And in this case, atma refers to soul consciousness, not the absolute self. But then, at the most all-encompassing level, we eventually come to realize the seventh body, the Maha Sutratma. Maha means great. And of course, then, this is the great thread, or the through line of the entire tapestry of time that contains the entire cosmos from beginning to end. And by connecting the end, the omega point, to the beginning makes the world eternal. We will explore the nature of these seven bodies more in depth in a moment. But first, I will write them on the board so that the terms and the relationships between them are clear. <laughs> 